God, it's Thomas the Franchise. Feels like we're on the edge right now. I wish that I could say I'm proud. I'm sorry that I let you down. Won't let you down. All these voices in my head get loud. I wish that I could shut them out. I'm sorry that I let you down. Won't let you down. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm a disappointment. Doing everything I can, I don't want to make you disappoint. It's annoying. What is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. Today, man. Today, the vlog is going to be a little bit different than normal, man. And the homie Dow Palantonio came over the other night. We were chopping it up. We did a sneaker review. We kind of talked to a multitude of different topics while the camera was rolling before we even started the review. And we also do a little reaction to the Chris Webby freestyle on Sway. If you have not seen that, definitely check it out, man. It's incredible. But we do show it here in the video. We have a little reaction to it before we get into the sneaker review. I know some of you fools are strictly here for reviews, so if that's the case, man, it starts about 8.50. Feel free to skip ahead, I don't really care what you do. But this video is almost like a mini podcast of sorts with a sneaker review in it, man. So it's just something different, just something fun. I'm sorry in advance, I was sick during the review, so I'm all doped up on cough medicine and sniffling and my voice is all congested and everything, so I apologize for that. But the review is dope nonetheless. And if you really rock with me or the channel, I think you'll find the rest of the video entertaining also. But that's gonna be the vlog for today. And then I should have another video up tomorrow going back to back with the fifth anniversary Ultra Boost LTD 4.0. It's my very first 4.0. So I'm excited to tell you guys all about that, what I think about it, and show you that shoe. But that'll be tomorrow, so let's jump off into this one, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Am I that far off? Yeah, you were. <laughs> that far off. Dude, let's just put your face in there, fool. Dude, that looks nothing like, that's a circle. This is like a baseball diamond. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not even close to the same. Just wait till we have the podcast. This is going to be... The Olympics, right, probably. Going here. Damn, right. look at your watch, guy. What do you got going on here? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you put a screen protector on it? Oh yeah, well, that's cool. had to. Look at that thing. Bang the shit, huh? Beating mates. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Who says that? That shit is. Yeah, your shit is looking pristine, huh? Oh, always, guys. Let's scratch Just it. like my shoes. Every day, I take them off, get the Jason Mark wipes. You, you, really? Every day? Every day, guy. How much are you spending on Jason Mark wipes? Too much. <laughs> so then, so then I clean like three other shoes while I'm at it with those. <laughs> that's the worst. You gotta see my routine. That's too much. You wanna, dude. Damn, looks like I'm suffering from baby beard. Just shaved today. Yeah. Well, you could be you could be Mexican Indian beard. Yeah, you're which is what I have. you have serious. Yeah, you have a lot of baby beard. The shit doesn't grow in up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just because mine's dark. Fool. Well, I just have the shadow going. I don't even really have a beard. I just cut it. Look like the Ray Ray. You do? Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, that's tight. <laughs> no, that little not... cookie duster mustache. Oh, no, dude, and it's getting like really obnoxious. Trey Young. Did you, uh. Blake Griffin? I already know. Kirk Alex, Cousins? Alex Smith. Where's Kirk Cousins going? Uh, Broncos, I think. Shut up. I'm just kidding. We're taking Wyoming guy. You know that. I don't want Josh Allen. I don't want Baker. I don't want Baker either. No, I want Baker. Do what you? do you mean you don't want Baker? No. Nah. Why wouldn't you want Baker Mayfield? Because <laughs> if. Needs to grow up. And the Broncos is not a place to do that. Dude. Oh, you're so far off base no, with that. They're walking all over Vance. Baker's the They've man. got no leadership there. No, 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 Von no, Miller's no. not a leader. Who's a leader? John Elway micromanaging the Baker Mayfield is a leader. That he's guy's a, not. He's a big time leader. What this do you guy, mean? That this, guy's passionate. This, he's the Philip Rivers type where he'll most, run down the field, chase the ref down for his guys, be in his guys' faces, like let's get our shit going. Baker Mayfield doesn't have attitude. He's not competitive. He's not a good you, leader. Baker Mayfield. Humble yourself. Was that a hashtag or not? That was terrible. No, that, funny, that funny is a mind his business. <laughs> Baker's out there balling on things real quick. <laughs> He's at the game. Humble yourself, young that fella. To, wait up. Fox reportedly wins the rights to Thursday Night Football outbidding CBS and NBC for next season. Good. I hate CBS. I hate Fox. Fox is the worst. You don't like Bill Cowher? Actually, you know what? No. Bill Cowher ain't on Fox. <laughs> He's on CBS. <laughs> You got, yeah, on, you got the game call anyway. Oh, oh. And no, 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 I do hate that though. I hate Terry Bradshaw, and Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson. Johnson. Fox is the worst. That's the thing. Fox is the worst pregame show. If it's not Troy Aikman and um, Joe Buck, if it's not them on the broadcast, then it's the worst broadcast. They save mm -hmm. it. They're the reason I could watch a game on Fox. So they better be doing every Thursday night game. Oh, f I hate Fox. NBC is the best. NBC is. By far the best NBC. coverage. Al Michaels, Costas, Dude, when Costas freaking, his Chris job, Collinsworth. When Costas loses his job in the future for all the sexual allegations that will probably come out on him, because yeah, no everybody's shit. getting f right now, that's no going to be a sad day, because Costas is the shit. Oh my God, speaking of, do you know who Chris Webby is? Dude, this is important, bro. This shit inspired <clears> me, <throat> but he went on Sway in the morning the other day. Oh, I do know Chris Webby. Yeah, I, yeah. Hey, he's the shit. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. This yeah, Chris yeah. Webby freestyle on Sway. If you guys have not seen this, do yourself a favor, man. This fool. I see my peers looking nervous as that jealousy takes charge as I'm on a track like I'm assembling train cars. And I just hit them with straight bars. The hyenas back. Sway pull me out the elephant graveyard. 24 straight like a younger Jack Bauer. Finally, I'm on and I'm abusing that power. Fuck your mom against the sliding doors of her glass shower. And grab her ass after hours like a Matt Lauer. I'm oh. Rats Bowser, the guy at the end of the game that you'll need cheat codes to beat because my pen is insane. Remember the name. See web I spit sickly I got my competition breathing hard as Chris Christie I get busy currently they ain't serving me get in their head like my surgery till they heard of me on a path that'll further me fuck rap money I'm copping some cryptocurrency environmentally mindful donate to save the elephants and yelling at people who don't recycle I'm spiteful out rapping each and every rival till the day I'm sitting on a title see I'm so dope that you gon' have to look beating me don't ever happen like Lil Yachty reading chapter books. Mr. Babadook, I'm hopping right off of the page. Popping off like Call of Duty as I'm tossing grenades. And I'm sick of all these cats who try to defend mumble rap. These old heads just don't get it. They just some grumpy ass, out of touch motherfuckers stuck up in the fucking past. I'm not even 30 and I think that shit is fucking trash. If you're a rapper, you should fucking rap. Don't say the same thing front to back on the whole fucking track. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, really, what the fuck is that? I'll say what everyone's thinking. Lil Pump is whack. What you gonna do? Come and battle me? now put some shit on wax you know like real rappers get down but even thinking of that shit just got me laughing out loud it only lasts one round and your ass will get clowned the fact that you're even labeled a rapper with all dishonors the forefathers of this whole entire genre sorry to diss you there ain't no personal issue just had to let you know that me and sway ain't fucking with you and maybe that's oh, the biggest that difference that between me and you <laughs> and not just you pump see there's plenty of the dudes lil what's his name with them face tattoos who raps like you yeah fuck him too see i love rap too much to watch these young cats destroy it without speaking up it's everywhere i can't avoid it i can't hear the words when you do that with your voices maybe if i fucking understood it i'd enjoy it but jesus christ every time i'm here i'm speak i'm like yo were you ever taught to read or write and if not then i feel like a jerk and if you ever need a tutor i'd be happy to work but stop the beat a minute i got something to say sway i want to tell you this shit now why you speaking with me i don't know if i ever told you this but i love you dog you know webby got them raps i wrote this shit just for you so you could rack up hella views and talk shit about people because it's something to do i'm the type of guy to go live on shade 45 and say i hope mike pence dies without batting an eye because fuck him trump's entire cabinet can suck one and Hillary Clinton can be their plus one. I thought we'd get change when I voted for Barack. But at this point, next time I'm voting for The Rock. My punchlines provoke them, lyrical so that'll choke them. With bars so sharp, I cut through them like Logan, Hulk Hogan, rocking triple wow. wide Trojans. You gon' leave this ring with your fucking spine broken. A rap genius, the meanest, to hit your speakers like Eminem on his slim shady LP shit. Jesus, I be killing shit to hell freezes, turning all the doubters to believers. So, what's the difference between? me and you about six Adderalls two bottles and Sway's interviews until I get the world's respect I suggest you run in fear cause I am next you that's the difference yeah. 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 Wow yeah. Yeah. Wow yeah. 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 He set the bar high for 2018. Yes, he did. I'm a little pumped after that, but I'm a little worn out too because he just like Dumb. verbally destroyed everybody and myself. Full. Oh my gosh, that shit is ridiculous. All right, guys, we are back home, and the homie Dal Palantonio is right next to me, man. The homie Dallas is here. We're going to be doing a podcast soon. We'll be dropping that within the next few months. We'll be doing that probably at least two days a week, maybe three days a week. I don't know. And uh, it's going to be available on the channel. I don't know if we're going to put it on iTunes or SoundCloud or any of that stuff, or if it's just going to be on the channel. I haven't decided yet, but it will be really, really dope. So he actually just came over here so I could introduce him on the podcast, and now he's just going to sit here while we review a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. He's not going to just sit here. He's going to be helping me review the sneaker. And we're going to take a look at that in a minute. But first, I want to let you guys know the backpack giveaway, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Is this shit coming from Amazon or what? No Prime? I've been changing my mind so much on this giveaway. No, I got the stuff that I wanted, but I changed my mind. You guys have been asking me about merch. The merch is coming. I wanted to throw 
some merch from the clothing line and I'm gonna announce the name of the clothing line here soon. I don't wanna give it away yet. I wanted to put some merch in the backpack from the clothing line. So I was like, man, let me just hold off so I can fill that with some shirts and some hoodies and some stuff that we come out with instead of just like sneaker cleaner and like some basic stuff, you know? If you guys are like, screw that, we don't want the merch, we don't give a crap, just get, do the backpack giveaway already, that's fine. Just leave it in the comments or let me know. If that's like the sentiment, then I'll just give the backpack away and screw the merch. If you wanna wait and have a backpack full of merch and stuff for the winter and sneaker cleaner and everything, then and just don't say shit. Right? Fair enough. <laughs> oh my God. It's the most neutral guy on YouTube. Way to, way to really back me up on that one. The most neutral guy on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but with all that out of the way, let's get into some sneakers, man. These are actually Dallas's pair, and this is a pair of Vapor Max, size 10 and a half. No, size 10, right? Yeah. Size 10 and a half, what am I talking about? On the straps, because they're tighter. I, I, I would go I would go true to size. Gotcha. But yeah, if I want to lace these guys, the hype beast lacing style, I gotta go tins. Give it a spin, bro. <laughs> no spins. It's, give too, it a spin. Too neutral. <laughs> Bang, there we are, man. The Vapor Max Fly Knit BHM. BHM is Black History Month. Have you worn these already? Yeah. Dang, these are these are pretty sick, and I don't even like flying at Vapor Max, as you know. These are pretty dope. Uh, dang, the gold lace tips too. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Right now is my very first time opening the box and taking a look at these shoes, man. These are dope. Yeah, the details on these are just awesome. Obviously, the Black History Months, the tribute shoes, have all got the green and the reds and the blacks this year. Super on point from the bottoms to the insoles. We've already reviewed a few different pairs of Vapor Max. There's really nothing that's changed from the silhouette. But getting into the shoe here, you got the gray fly knit with the black kind of sprinkled in there. And that goes all the way here to the back heel cup kind of up around the top there. So yeah, what I really like about the shoes, the details. This shoe happens to be a little bit more special, and I say that loosely, but this is a little bit more special than the other BHMs that have released previously. If you see the back heel, you'll see a date, and that date is 08-20-1993. Looks like that there. 8-20-93. What does that mean? So there's a little significance to that date. This is not only a tribute to Black History Month, but actually to uh, an individual by the name of Colin Jackson. He was actually a uh, hurdler, and 25 years ago, via this date... No way. Yeah, Colin, he actually broke the record for the 110 meter hurdles. So not only did he get gold, the gold lace tips. Yeah, he actually broke a, a world record. Colin's record breaking time, if I remember correct, was 12.91 seconds on the 110 meter hurdles. Pretty Damn. awesome. Yeah. Epic. Oh, Jackson got a good one. It's Jackson in the first hurdle. Also doing what is Pierce and Jarrett. Jackson going away, two to go. Jackson takes it. Jarrett gets the silver and pierce the bronze. 12.91. A new championship record, and I make that a new world record for Colin Jackson. 25 years ago. That's so pretty dope, dude. Tribute to that gentleman with this shoe as well. So details are over the top. Some of this fly knit, part of this resembles actually the Pan-African flag, which is really cool as well. Just a huge tribute shoe in, in a multitude of reasons. So very, very cool. These are super, super sick in person. As much as I was shitting on fly knit Vapor Max a few vlogs ago, man, these are really dope in person. And now I'm like picturing myself like in shorts with these mm -hmm. in the summer, like, ah, can I pull the under? I was like, I'll never buy another flat knit vape. These are cold, man. Like, that moving up to the cool. laces, you got these Oreo kind of laces there, and they're just a flat lace. The thing that I love about them, like, if you were comparing this to a pair of laces on just... Like these Ultra Boost I have on right now, luckily. These are just so much more plasticky and stiff. I can't explain it. These are more, like the way they hang on the side, they're just like so much more of a relaxed shoelace. These are so much more stiff. Yeah, these feel more like, like a rope, like a rope right. lace. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that can conform. Like you can have a high look, you can slap it down. And it takes so long for these ones to wear in, to where like they lose those little creases. Moving up to the tongue, like he was talking about with the details, you got the black with the gold hits there. BHM, super sick. It's the same on both shoes, I'd assume, right? Yep. Correct. It is. Moving up to the top of the shoe, same standard fly knit. 
uh, sock collar. And then as you go inside, you got the Gucci stripe in there with the Nike running hit down the middle. Gold. That is sick. Is that one the same insole or different? Same. Same insole. And then you've got the Gucci stripe down the back. And then you got the toe guard here, Flex Seal toe guard. I call it the Flex Seal vapor barrier. Yeah, it's kind of like Flex Seal. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, it's kind of like Flex Seal. Flex Seal vapor barrier. At this angle, it looks like an ice skate. Oh, yeah, it does. We talked about the gold lace tips. Super nice touch. I love that. And then as you move down to the midsole, same exact Vapor Max midsole. And the outsole has got the green and red hits on the bottom. Super, super dope. Yeah, overall, I'm really surprised with this shoe. I did not think I would really give a crap about this shoe, but this thing is really dope in person. Did you see these in person when you bought them, or did you just see them online? Just saw them online. And then you went and got them in the store, though? I just saw them on the sneakers <laughs> app, you know, on the Notify Me, and I uh, was just going to go that route, but... Uh, I was lucky enough to, to get them in the store. The actual release date is uh, February 1st. I know some people are starting to get some pairs here and there, but I haven't seen really any reviews on them yet. So yeah. That's right. These are early. Yeah. Early. I forgot these were early. I didn't know the shoe had that. Like Obviously, I knew it was Black History Month, yeah. but I didn't know uh, which black athlete they were modeling mm -hmm. it after. Putting the date on the shoe. like That yeah. stuff is just super sick. Yeah. I really like that a and lot. It, the date's in gold. The lace tips are in gold. Like It's just done very well. And then, of course, all the Black History Month shoes this year have all have you know the red and the green right, and the black course, hits yeah. so stays traditional with what everybody else is doing incorporates on more personal level now i'll tell you let me give you my opinion so franchise is giving you his opinion on vapor maxes on on the cs's and the fly nets here's the deal for me these pods it feels like they take about a couple of weeks for them to kind of break in and loosen up a little bit. For me, out of the box, I'm an Ultra Boost kind of guy. These are great, but an Ultra Boost for me, out of the box, is ready to rock. Broken in, good to go. A Vapor Max, however, I love them. I think they're great, but one to two weeks before these pods uh, soften up and, and where I feel pretty good on them. That's my opinion. But I really like them. No, they definitely, you do definitely have to break them in. But you definitely have a lot more structure and stability on something like this, you know, for running. That's uh, what versus... I said. For running, these are great. Yeah. Just stylistically, I find the Flyknit version hard to make look good. Right. But these ones, I don't know. For, I don't know if it's this tongue, the way it sits up like that. Yeah, because most of them like fold my, yeah, down. Yeah, mine is like all folded yeah. inside and all tucked it's, in. It's it's the, the tongue has, ha, the like tongue that. has body. That's how mine looks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the tongue has body, the rope laces, fire. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. These ones look way better. I think that is about all on these, man. If you guys have any questions about this shoe, direct them to this man, because I don't own the shoe. At Dow Palantonio on Twitter. I don't even know. What, what is your Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so weird? Why don't I just no, have it no, all the same? I don't even use Instagram. Let's just do oh, Twitter. All right. I'm just on Twitter. See, I can't. Let me see. Yo, oh. That was pretty good, huh? But yeah, make sure you follow this guy on Twitter if you have any questions about the shoe, man. Other than that, you'll be seeing a lot more of this guy. We got a bunch of shoes that we're going to be reviewing together here um, in the next few weeks, so you'll be seeing a lot more of this guy. And we have the podcast coming, so you'll be hearing a lot more from this guy as well. As always, thank you guys for supporting everything I do. Thank you to everybody that's using my Amazon links, man. I love the shit out of y'all, and I will see you fools tomorrow. <laughs> Hold on that new shit, niggas like how come? Niggas want my old shit, got my old album. Niggas stuck with stupid, I gotta keep it moving. Niggas make the same shit, me I make the blueprint. Came in the range, hopped out the Lexus. Every year since, I've been on that next shit. Traded in a gold for the platinum Rolexes. Now a nigga wrist match the status of my records. Used to rock a throwback, falling on the corner. Now I rock a telesuit, looking like an owner. No, I'm not a Jonas, brother, I'm a grown up. No, I'm not a virgin, I use my cojones. I move on with the only direction. Can't be scared to fail, search of affection. Gotta keep it fresh, girl, even when we sexy. But don't be mad at him when it's on to the next one. Oh,